so we seen movement in insects movement in mammals movement in amphibians now we are going to see movement in birds so how do how do birds move actually they are fly birds that fly have well developed wings feathers and strong flight muscles so if you have a look at the bird you see that it has wings feathers and the flight muscles are very strong they have light body weight because of their hollow bones which are filled with air so if you take a bird you will notice that the weight of the body is very light and that is because of this hollow bones which are filled with air these birds can fly in the air by flapping their wings so talking about movements in birds so if you notice a bird it starts flapping its wings before it takes off that is before it starts flying so they have the birds that fly have well developed wings feathers and so they have wings feathers and strong flight muscles so they have wings feathers and strong flight muscles they have light body weight because of their hollow bones which are filled with air these birds can fly in the air by flapping their wings there are some birds which cannot fly so in birds itself there are two types birds which can fly and birds which cannot fly so talking about birds which cannot fly aquatic birds so these aquatic birds such as your ducks use their webbed feet to swim in water so the first type so talking about birds which cannot fly we have the aquatic birds such as your ducks which have webbed feet that helps it to swim in water birds such as the penguin and ostrich so birds like your penguin and ostrich have very heavy body and hence they cannot fly so normally we've seen for a bird to fly its body weight has to be light but in the case of the penguin and ostrich its body weight is very heavy but they have developed other features penguins swim fast and ostriches can run very fast using its strong hind limbs though they cannot fly they have developed other features the penguin can swim very fast and the ostrich can run very fast using its strong hind limbs so talking about movements in birds we see that birds that fly have developed wings feathers and strong flight muscles they have light body weight because of their hollow bones which are filled with air these birds can fly in the air by flapping their wings there are some birds which cannot fly like the aquatic birds such as the ducks have webbed feet that allows it to swim in water birds such as your penguin and ostrich have very heavy body weight and hence they cannot fly but they have developed other features the penguins can swim very fast and the ostriches can run very fast using its strong hind limbs so we seen that penguins can swim very fast and ostriches can run very fast using its strong hind limbs 
Aquatic mammals like your whales have flippers or modified arms that help them swim. Whereas mammals like your bats use wings for locomotion. Their wings are formed of thin layer of skin stretched between the arms and the leg. So talking about the aquatic mammals, the aquatic mammals like your whales have flippers or modified arms that help them swim. swim. Whereas mammals like your bats use their wings for locomotion. Some wings, I mean their wings are formed of thin layer of skin stretched between the arms and the legs. So this is about the movement that is movement in insects, movement in amphibians, movement in mammals, movement in fish etc. Moving on to the next is your migration. So talking about migration. In nature many birds and animals move from one place to another in search of food to breed and many a times to avoid harsh seasonal changes so talking about migration that is nature in nature many birds and animals move from one place to another that is in search of food to breed and many a times to avoid harsh seasonal changes. This seasonal movement of birds and animals from one place to another is called migration. So the seasonal movement of birds and animals from one place to another is called migration. Examples are dragonflies migrate to southern parts of Asia during the winter seasons. So the example of migration is your dragonflies that migrate to southern parts of Asia during the winter seasons. So we spoke about the movement in mammals. So aquatic mammals like your whales have flippers or modified arms that help them swim. And mammals like your bats use wings for locomotion and their wings are formed of thin layer of skin stretched between the arms and the legs. Moving on to the next topic is migration. In nature, birds and animals move from one place to another in search of food to breed and many a times to avoid harsh seasonal changes. This seasonal movement of birds and animals from one place to another is called migration. Example are your dragonflies that migrate to southern parts of Asia to avoid during the winter season. So we've seen that the seasonal movement of birds and animals from one place to another is called migration. Example are your dragonflies that move to southern parts of Asia during the winter season. The monarch butterflies which are native of North America migrate to southern parts of California to spend the winter season. So the next example is your monarch butterflies which normally live there that is they are native of North America but they migrate to southern parts of California to spend the winter season. African elephants migrate in search of food during the wet and dry seasons. So the next example is your African elephants that migrate in search of food during the wet and dry seasons. The salmon fish migrate from salt water to fresh water for reproduction. So when it is time to reproduce, the salmon fish migrates from salt water to fresh water. 
so these are the examples of migration so the seasonal movement of animals from one place to another is termed as migration the first example is your dragonflies that migrate to southern parts of Asia during the winter season the next is your monarch butterflies that are native of North America they migrate to southern Cali parts of California to spend the winter winter season the African elephants migrate in search of food during the wet and dry seasons the salmon fish migrate from salt water to fresh water for reproduction so these are all the examples of migration moving on to the next topic is the breathing process in animals so like humans animals also breathe and each animal the breathing process in each and every animal differs the organs that carry out exchange of gases as we breathe are called your respiratory organs so we see that the organs that carry out exchange of gases as we breathe are called respiratory organs all the animals breathe in oxygen to survive oxygen helps to change the digested food into energy and during this process carbon dioxide gas is released so the oxygen that we breathe in helps to digest the food that we have taken into energy and during this process carbon dioxide is released since carbon dioxide gas is not needed by the body so talking about the breathing process in animals the organs that carry out exchange of gas as we breathe are called the respiratory organs and all the animals breathe in oxygen to survive and oxygen helps to change the digested food into energy during this process carbon dioxide gas is released since the carbon dioxide gas is not needed by the body